Hello everyone, this is Paul. Welcome back to my channel, Bigly Olya. We have been here. We are waiting for Natsuki's visit on Sunday for some baking, and we are anxious about it. Not just me as a person, because some many things can happen. But it is what it is for the game as well, because shit is gonna happen. It's by like two hours of playing, and after that the shit starts. I play two hours. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when she's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned out into conversation. Different personality on the phone, using tons of emojis and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early that day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about it in the back of my mind. Between that Sayori said and what Monica said, is that really okay for me to put Sayori's feeling aside when she might need me? No, please go and I decide to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Of course you do. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. So we made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were family. Oh shit. That was just quiet. Okay. She's anywhere on the first floor of so some Okay, it's already strange enough for her not to run down and greet me. In the bedroom I finally find her. Sayori? Hi Paul! I sit down in her room. Sayori falls a smile, but it's easy to tell that she is different. That's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has been really changed, is it? It's messy as always been. Of course it is. I also recognize the same stuffed animals on the wall decorations that she had here for now. If you came over more often, it'd be by such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it up for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be eating Natsuki today? Yeah, but wait, how did you know about that? I had already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only the natural order to keep me informed about the festival operations, right? Ah, that's true. But uh, what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in random direction. Everything about behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something is wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So. Shaking her head. That's no good, Paul. Eh? Why can't it just be like I always been? It's my fault. You didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. Make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You'd have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? Getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have come over today. Just wanted to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab by Sayori with the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. That's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until now, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, uh, gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Paul, but... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. All this been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayuri? You're really just making going to say it, aren't you, Paul? Guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, it would always been really... Oh! I've had really bad depression in my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school for every day? Because most days I can't find the reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put energy in their carrying waste? Spend it on me, that's what it feels like. That's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it even possible that Sayori kept this from me in the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me just not thinking about her? Why Sayori? Hey? Why isn't that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew I would have done anything I could support you. Even if there's only so much I could do. I would try a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. I don't understand at all, Paul. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Of course, if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's better sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Haha. 
That's why I want to do so badly for you to make friends with everyone else, helping everyone be happy together and the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too, seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. Feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why they say the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. You're right. That I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Paul. It's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped us, if anything, could be always... But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a terrible person I am. Tears strike down from Sayuri's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished for by hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. But now you came here and made you hurt too. Just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulder. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Huh? Paul? Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have other, any other way. Paul? Sayori is not me back. This meant my arms being wrapped around to join her sides. She starts sobbing and takes my hand. No! Don't do this to me! Please don't do this! Wolf! I... Sayuri badly managed to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know I take care. If you have to be... In your, to call yourself selfish, then you have to let be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. No! I don't know! I don't know! Gently? Finally, Sayuri puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's really all scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Paul. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But, your rocks are so warm. That's really scary too. Sayuri let me go. She does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah? It's going to be fun, right? Yeah? How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, uh, it's, what, it's what I want, I promise. I I think it would be nice then. Yeah. So he wipes her eyes. If could spend the whole day here, I would. Of course. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really would not forgive you. But it's almost time for me to not see meet my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sorry shakes her head. I'm sorry. Come on. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. Uh -huh. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Damn. Damn. That music changed. The game changed so hard. I was gonna go there. I, uh, I had this theory. Okay, I have not played this game. I've not seen anyone play this game. But I had a theory that Sayuri was gonna be like this. That she was not gonna accept the same kind of love that she's giving out because she's gonna be depressed because I know that feeling uh, I know that Monica is kind of like a two, two playing thing two playing girl that she talks nice but at the same time she does the bad things and Natsuki is just Natsuki the normal girl and Yuri is the one who's like who's also the one who's uh, self hurting but at the same time she's kind of like a mid matured version of Sayori so I think she is prone to violence on others rather than herself. So I have this theory, but I didn't think too much into it because I was gonna play the game without getting disturbed, uh, without giving any too much thought into it. Yeah, that 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 one of interaction was like, oh man. Okay, I say goodbye to Sayuri and exit her house. On the way home, I feel myself feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayuri is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we are definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what is ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes back at home anxiously waiting for Natsuki to arrive. Before I know it, she like texts me no, she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Paul! Stop! Hey! I don't know what I was expecting to see Natsuki in something other than her school uniform. Totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes me uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it so feel. Don't make it feel so awkward already. Oh, it's gonna be long afternoon, so don't weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. 
See, you brought a lot of stuff. Oh, that, that's my voice, I'm sorry. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out their kitchen is sending it for the job. You brought everything I asked for you to write? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to a bunch of ingredients. I had brought them. Good. Glad I could come join you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky like she always does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's get to the kitchen. What, you're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Paul? Come on. Since when did I need to become a gentleman? Grab the bag Natsuki holds out on me. This is ridiculously heavy. Ah, Carry that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. I'm impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. Hee 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 hee. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Uh -huh. It's a fist into my chest. Hey, hey, your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate me so small being thus like that? Hey, um, it's not like that, I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like provoking, proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth in my size. It's all right, I get to be small and also better than other people. But, jeez, never mind. Don't you think you can make me talk about weird things just because you're not at school? Are you getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Uh -huh. What? That's a little bit more like you. You're fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! Are you treating me like a kid? Just trying to be a little nicer to you, no? Just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri, that doesn't mean you should treat me like... Huh? Natsuki gets us her words and face turns her right. Natsuki. Forget it! I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Hey? I appreciate that you are trying to be nicer. I should have been a little bit more concerned too. But also... If that's what you're talking, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are a lot tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Huh? How, how would you how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Uh gross! <laughs> hey, was that to me wasn't that <laughs> who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> Yet all I saw when a girl calls you gross. Finally found your weakness, Paul. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please, spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm fighting back. She's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of bag so we can get started. But before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons dirty, bowls, floor spill, fluid and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we decided after several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't mess up our bracious baking. Whoa, where did you put that food chlorine? Batting is going to announce soon. I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. That's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you are asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all! Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate batter into small bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. That does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you have to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it than at the end. Just looking at it makes everyone's highest life now. Like the ones you made on the first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly representing, presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes to Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah! Maybe I'll use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We are using the electric mixer for the batter, so I gotta stick with the whisk and huge ball for the icing. Hey, the icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Yeah, it's just take a little longer. Geez, I'll be here all night if you don't look that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her own hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency icing has already improved. See? Sip it your Stick a finger in the icing and pops it in the mouth. Uh... Hey! Suddenly grabs my wrist. Don't want you to cross your fingers in my icing! You're icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back trying to inch my finger toward the bone. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I'd like to see you try. I push harder just enough for my finger to reach the middle. I tremblously scoop some with my finger and Natsuki tucks with all the might. Ah, the force of Natsuki is pulling me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You might. You got it on 
my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. <laughs> she tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez! You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes it off her finger before shoving it toward my own face. You wish? I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Stop! Shit. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine! Sorry for calling you gross. You know what? I don't mean it. Just fun saying you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Take Natsuki's fingers and put it in my mouth, licking out the icing. Shit. What? Did you seriously just... Ah! Sorry for... How to, ma how to get mad at me. Shit. I did... Oh shit, that's not a good thing to do. You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls, unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is he asking me, just like that? How did the mood turn on so quickly? I... Gazes at me in silence. I notice a shallow breaths. Uh, Paul, Paul, Paul. Why am I starting to feel dizzy, hey? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes show to the oven, is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. Puff. And no wonder! You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. So maybe for your mistakes. Jeez. To grab the blackened tray out of the oven, she sets it on the top of the stove, and another moment the fire alarm stops. Anyway, putting them in the oven now. Yeah, the tension from the moment before lingers over her heads. But the moment has already been lost. Natsuki slides in the cupcakes straight into the oven, then I look to pick up the whisk and continue with the ice, nothing ever happened. Smells so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven! So soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute all they look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trees. They look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. Broad decorating stuff, so I hope you get creative. Scoop the icing in these bags. Natsuki and makes the plastic bags. I have the I have the nozzles that will make fit looks nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. You probably won't be using it this time though. What's in this one for? I pick one of the nozzles that has much thinner tip than others. That one really is thin, so you can use it to stripes or other patterns. But you can use it to write stuff on a cake. Happy birthday, or whatever. Ah, I see. That gives you an idea, actually. Hey? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing different words on each of the cupcakes. It'd be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, um, it's kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. <laughs> but actually, it's a cute idea, so... Uh, Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to be? I'm not cute. Come on, we are not at school anymore. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this. Then expect me not to think you're cute. Well... Voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? Nothing! Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the face and fastens the nozzle onto the backs. There's a lot to do. We shouldn't be waiting much time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Think about it before Natsuki quickly move on. She moves on how to apply icing before we get to work. Okay, when we are finally finished, Natsuki puts them all inside at my work. Look at how all they put together. Yeah, sure, they aren't they? I wish I could have one now. There's one. no reason you can't, right? I, I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really trying to save my appetite. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Sayori says expect the same thing in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably down to 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat that much as of it I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we could have time for manga. But I need to be home for dinner. Already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like that you always have this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can't, you can't bring up the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, then we'll probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her any. Ah, uh, wish you could say the listen, listens to you. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so hopeless, helpless. Always listen to me, but at that point, I feel like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, all backed up. Good work today. You too. I'll work you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer like I wanted? Well, guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. See you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. 
okay? What is that we were, but not having this chance? It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun making can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere, um, do you really mean that? Tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Oh, thought you can only really care about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here as long as I could. Feel the same way you. So, suddenly, gets <laughs> shit, that's so close. Wait, Natsuki. Inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. Feel it joining the sides of my shirt as we're holding on to me. A rose colored cheeks matching the eyes of my vision. What is happening? My head starts to go to see. I felt it. For a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. <laughs> Sayuri! Eh? Ah! Hi, Paul! Sayuri! Uh, just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Paul. It's just not way to say hi. Ah! Well, you should have come a little bit earlier. Oh, you I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? It's too bad. Yeah, well, it's still it's here at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat my cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off on Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori! I thought you didn't want to come over today. Oh, well, I tried staying in my room, but imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. Oh, don't do this, Sayori. I told you to come here before. Oh, this is gonna not gonna end well. I'm telling you right now. Makes me really happy that you made such good friends. It's all that matters to me. Oh, shit. It's all that matters to me. It sounds to be happy for you. Why does it feel like I'm being in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. But it's a good just to be here. Sayori, please don't say that. Super. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have so much time sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being so selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica told you! I told you! Monica was right about what? Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like that and burning you much is making it hard to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes it... An entire lifetime, I'd be by your side until don't feel any other pain. What? Sawyer looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Paul. What are you scared of, Sayuri? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. Sayuri. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and scared to do you like too much. And this to myself. Oh, I like you so much. I don't want to die. Ah, uh, damn it. That's enough, Sayuri. I don't want you to hurt anymore. Tied my hand down Sayori's arm, squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I will not know best for you? Do you still believe me? Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm gonna give to you. I love you. Hey? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have read it sooner. But spending time with you at the club making new friends and having fun with you every day. It tells me to relax that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens, as long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side. Then I know we'll be both be happy. Oh! Suddenly, Sayuri so wraps her arms tightly around me. Oh! Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayuri in my arms and pull, pull her close. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Paul. I want to be with you forever. Me too. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. You let us to be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't you rain the rain clouds go away? They are not going away at all, Paul. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for the things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. Trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So. I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Yeah. What are you saying? I don't want to think about those things now. I want everything to see me as well as Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. Well, go at our pace suits you best. Hey, Paul. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? 
I don't really understand what Sayuri means by that. Are you saying that this makes you feel... Makes... Uh, this is making you feel sad, Sayuri? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I like a bunch of thorns when you told me hello me. But that's why I trust you. What's best for me? Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayuri. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having so much trouble understanding Sayuri's feeling as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I'd be doing the same thing for more, something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are the back to the normal they were. Is that Sayuri meant to buy nothing, wanting to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give everything I got. Sayuri is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Holy shit. That just went dark. Oh my god. Guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. I, I I didn't know this game could get this dark already. I thought we had a half hour or the other another episode to go. But no. Sayuri. Okay. Monica is a bitch. I told you that. I was theorizing that. And that happened. She said Monica told th was right. After all, she told me too. Maybe it was a good thing. Maybe she said go and propose or something like that. But I don't trust her. I don't trust Yuri. Maybe Natsuki, I don't care about her that much. Oh, crap. I don't know how we are going to handle these things. I'm not great at man handling, human handling. Let's just say that. that. All right, guys. Until next time, be peculiar, stay peculiar. Hit that like button. Share the video with your friends and family. Stop posting around it with that subscribe button. Also, the notification icon. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about uh, choosing Sayori over Natsuki or Yuri or even, you know, Monica? Let me know in the comments below that video question of the hour for you and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.